Hey everybody, just wanted to bring you a quick tip that w should improve the accuracy of your rifle. Whether it's brand new like this one that we're itching to get out on the range, or if it's uh, uh, one that you've had for quite a while. And that is truing up the locking lugs, or, I'm sorry, lapping the locking lugs <coughs> on your bolt. Now, uh, as, you're, as, as you know, when you <coughs> cycle the bolt in, it brings the cartridge up into the, the chamber, locks over, and if your locking lugs are not both equally seating, meaning like this one's a, a two-prone, if these both aren't seating up against uh, the firing chamber equally, then when the detonation happens, uh, you uh, it's possible for the the action or the the bolt and the cartridge to tilt or to to cant and uh, that will affect the accuracy down range down range of the barrel <coughs> so what i do and it's just really quick uh you can get most of this stuff either off of uh, the uh, gunsmith websites brownells midway i think what I, but what i do is i do valve uh lapping and I've got some valve lapping compound. I have, it comes in coarse, medium, and fine. I grab the coarse stuff, and what I do is you take your bolt, take your bolt out of your rifle. I will take the compound, put just a little bit of it on a Q-tip, and put it onto the, the back side of the locking lugs. And then I'll go ahead, install it, and then just go through the motions 20 times and then eject your bolt and take a look at where you're sitting now on the back here if you can be able to see this real well right on the back here you should see like little bluing areas and then shiny areas where it's making contact <coughs> ideally you want it to have contact on both of them typically you won't but this one I've gone ahead and already done all the, the lapping. And as you can see, I hope you can see, that this is all shiny on both sides, which tells me that it's engaging both sides. Both the locking lugs are engaging completely, and it's holding that cartridge straight. Now, once you get done with the heavy compound, take and clean it off, clean off the backs, do it again, twice, you know, until you're coming up with, with some clean surface area. When you're ready to move on to the fine, I clean it off, take a couple of cleaning swabs, and I'll go in there and just reach it around, maybe put a little bit of gun cleaner onto the swabs, and just clean out as much as you can. Then what I do on the bare metal is I'll take a Sharpie, uh, one with a finer point than that, and then just restain that back area there so that that's black again. Move to the fine, put the fine on the back side, go ahead, repeat. Repeat, take it out, look and see if the sharpie's off of there. If it is, I do it a few more times, then do a cleanup on it. Clean the back of this. Uh, put some new cleaning patches on, a little bit more gun cleaner, and then clean out the action. Um, keep cleaning it. You can, you can feel this in the action, the, the compound in the action. Uh, if you haven't gotten it all out, uh, it, it, it's sand. It feels like silica sand. So you'll know when it's all out of there, and then go ahead and whether you oil it or grease it, uh, whatever you choose. Um, just do your finish, finish oil or finish, finish grease, and then you're good to go. And that will improve your accuracy. Now on this one, we don't know yet. We haven't taken it out to the range quite yet. We got a couple more days, but I was just sitting around bored, and, and uh, that's something cheap and easy that I can do that's going to benefit the rifle and, and downrange accuracy. Anyway, I hope this helped. Uh, if you guys do something different, please leave it in the comments. Uh, any suggestions, leave those in the comments. Um, 
hope this helped you out. Like and subscribe. We're going to be uh, taking this out, so you definitely want to, if you're interested in this Mossberg Econo build, uh, 7mm08, and see how it does, definitely want to follow and, uh, and get those videos when they come out. Thanks, guys.